I was born in Africa in the year 1986, and growing up, everyone I knew wanted to run to Europe or America because they believed that if they could get to such countries as America, all their money problems will be solved. I had a different idea. To me, if I can't become rich in my country, I probably won't be rich anywhere else. Don't get me wrong, traveling to another country isn't a bad thing. But you see, even in the richest countries of the world, most people are still poor. There are some reasons for that, and that's what I'm going to be discussing in today's video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Education with Financial Education When I was a teenager, I became very clear about things that are very important to me. For me, the rank goes like this, spirituality, great marriage, enough money. But when I grew up and after spending nearly two decades in school, I discovered that school was not designed to teach me anything about any of the things that are important to me. I understand, schools shouldn't teach religion because it's controversial. I understand, schools shouldn't teach marriage because not everyone in the world agrees that marriage should look like or whether marriage makes sense in the first place. But tell me, why doesn't school teach everyone about money? I mean, if you said we shouldn't teach children about Jesus because there are a million religions in the world, that's a good argument. If you say that we shouldn't teach about marriage because what people believe about marriage is diverse, then you have some points. But what about money? That we all want to have, regardless of our faith, culture or country. The number one reason why most people, even in the rich countries, are poor is that no school teaches you about money anywhere in the world, and it's very simple. If you don't have financial education, you'll be poor, regardless of where you live on the planet Earth. Money and your mind According to Career Builder, a leading job site, even in America, the arguably richest country on our planet, 78% of the people live on paycheck to paycheck, while many have an unbelievable amount of debt. Why is this so? The second reason why most people are poor, even in rich countries, is that money doesn't have anything to do with where you live. Yes, living in Iraq or a war zone country means that you may lose your life and because of this unrest, you may not even be able to have the right mindset to start with. Aside from that, almost everything else is determined by what is between your two ears, your brain and how you use it. The second reason why many people are poor even in rich countries is that, well, they were never trained how to think about money. The popular message everywhere in the world is go to the best school your parents can afford and get the best job you can get. Buy a house and buy some nice cars. As long as your knowledge about money is limited to this popular advice, it doesn't matter whether you live in England or America, you will be poor. What is the way out? You have to think differently about money. You have to stop associating college degrees with wealth. While it is good to go to a university, though I don't have any degree, your university experience can only be relevant after school. If you do something else other than reading, reading and reading academic books. Yes, if my child decides to go to the university, I'll advise him or her to do as much relating and leading as reading and attending classes, but this is a subject for another video. If your master plan for money is to get a good job, the problem with that is that making money is just half of what you need to become rich. Multiplying money is far more difficult than making it. The rich world and rich liabilities. One of my favorite channels on YouTube is Dave Ramsey's channel. When you listen to Ramsey's show, you'll have reason to cry for the world. I mean, in the world I belong to as an entrepreneur, you don't buy things except you have money to buy it. In my world, you don't buy a car that's more expensive than your one-month income, except the car has a way of making you money. When I started listening to Dave Ramsey, I heard stories of people who buy cars that are expensive as their two years of income. I know the world is crazy. The problem with people in the rich countries is that they have rich liabilities. The temptation to live big is so much in rich countries that everyone wants to appear rich. You can't just live rich when you're broke and expect your financial life to be anything but a disaster. Everyone advises that you should live within your means. That's not my advice. My advice is crazier than that. Live like a slave until you are a king. Even when you become a prince, you must still have the discipline to live like a slave for some time. If it's possible, 
don't have a car. If this is not possible, never buy a new car or even an expensive used car on, until you're rich enough to afford five new cars. Let me explain this. It's called the rule of five. And I first heard it from the Minority Mindset, a channel on YouTube. The rule of five says if you cannot afford five of anything, you shouldn't buy it except as an asset. Student load and easy access to credit. In America and many other rich countries, you can get whatever your eye desires. At age 17, you can get thousands or even hundreds of loans to take you through college. After college or even while you're in college, you can have anything your heart desires. This was supposed to be a good thing, but when freedom is in excess, it leads to captivity. When people are free to use their credit card to get what they can't afford, they will think that this is freedom and yes it is. But as nature has it, too much of anything leads you to the opposite of what you want to get. A glass of wine can make you feel good. A bottle of wine can make you terrible. A plate of rich food can make you feel good. Ten plates can lead you to the hospital. An emergency credit facility can help your life. Using credit cards to please your untrained appetite will make you a slave to your lender forever. Forget your country. Let me conclude this video by saying this. Where you live matters, but not as much as everyone thinks. If you live in the richest country on the planet and you're stupid about money or you don't understand how money works, nothing in the world can make you rich. And if you live in the poorest country and you seek to understand how money works and become disciplined about money, then you'll become rich. Another point I should make before I end this video is that you'll always find what you're looking for. Many people, even in the rich countries, don't believe that they can become rich. They complain about everything, corporate America, the government and the economy. The problem with their complaint is that it leads to excuses. And when you have the habit of making excuses, you have got the righteous reason to become poor. After all, it's someone else's fault. I'm an African and the view expressed in this video is based on my limited experience about the world at large. If you think I'm stupid, you're probably right. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.